Last week, we honored and welcomed back Steve Scalise to this chamber, victim of a horrible shooting aimed at him because he was a congressman, could have been any one of us. Today, the Democrats spoke on the steps of the Capitol about the need for reasonable gun law reform. And with us was Gabby Giffords, who was shot 2011 because she was a congressperson doing her job. Congressman John Lewis had said, you can't go to a movie theater, you can't go to a concert, you can't go to school and feel safe. You can't be a public official and feel safe. What happened in Las Vegas were 58 people were murdered and over 500 injured calls on the United States Congress to take action to protect the American people. This is the time to act for reasonable common sense gun reform laws. The former Deputy Prime Minister of Australia, Fisher, who in 1996, after the greatest mass shooting in Australian history, led an effort to reform the Australian laws, sent a missive to President Trump, suggesting this is the time for him to act and to do something very important for American society, said it can be done. In Australia, after that killing, they passed laws that made illegal automatic and semi-automatic weapons. And they had a buyback program that bought back over 600,000 guns. After 1996 and the effort, which was difficult but successful, Australia has not had a killing of over five people. Prior to 1996, they had 15 or 16 shootings of that nature. Everyone recognizes Australia's success. We need to do something and not just have continued moments of silence. Yesterday on a bill on this floor about the unborn taking precedence over the rights of women, quite a few Republicans came to the floor and talked about pain to the unborn and loss of their potential for life. But none have talked about the pain of the 500 who were injured and the 58 lives that were lost. We could pass laws to eliminate bump stocks that apparently this murderer used to make his weapon into the effectually an automatic weapon, where he could shoot hundreds of bullets at a time, which he did. Bump stocks should be illegal, and Senator Dianne Feinstein had a bill to make them illegal in 2013, and she has one again. We need better background checks, and we need to make sure the mentally ill don't get guns. Unfortunately, in this Congress in February, the Congress passed a law that President Trump signed with passion that eliminated a rule that said that the Social Security Administration would send the names of people who couldn't manage their own financial affairs to a bureau to see to it that they were on a list where they couldn't buy guns. If you can't successfully manage your own financial affairs, should you have a gun? I would submit not, but that bill was passed on a partisan vote and signed by the President, making it easier for people to get guns who the Social Security Administration has found cannot manage their own affairs. The same for the no-fly, no-buy list. If you're considered too much of a security threat to fly on an airplane, you shouldn't be able to buy a gun. The arguments we heard against that were about due process. Has anybody brought a bill to give the people on the no-fly list due process? Has it come to the floor? No. And it won't because it makes sense to have a no-fly list, and they also should be people that can't buy guns. We shouldn't have semi-automatic weapons, certainly automatic weapons, which are illegal, but the bump stocks make regular weapons 
automatic weapons. The CDC is prohibited by law from doing a study to see if there's a connection with gun violence and mental health or our country's health. That law should be repealed. We shouldn't fear the CDC study. The gentleman's time has expired. High capacity magazines also shouldn't be permitted and law enforcement should be protected from armor piercing bullets. I yield back the balance of my time and hope that we can act to save American lives.